Hey guys, welcome to this new quick tip tutorial. This time I will talk about booleans and how to animate their operators so you get a nice boolean animation which in some situations can look very nice but it's not applicable to every situation because it won't work with dense meshes and detailed models because the boolean function my isn't that well programmed and is very buggy which causes in a lot of situations for my to crash but for simpler ones it is very easy and gives you good results and I just want to show you how I do it and how an easy way is to create a bit more control over your objects or your operators so first of all I will quickly model a simple scene maybe something like a silo where I want to open up the shell of the silo and where you can see the contents of it and a quick information for you guys in my last tutorials I got a few complaints about my loud keyboard and mouse clicks so this time I will use my Wacom tablet to decrease the noise level so let's start the modeling process so first of all I create a cylinder and create a quick and dirty silo and if you have seen my previous quick tip tutorial it was about uh, modeling or modeling uh, workflow improvements which I will definitely use in this tutorial so if you haven't seen it how I use my uh, operations and how I use my mesh options and operators please check my previous tutorial to get a detailed information about that so just adding a bit more detail into the mesh and now it should Okay, it's just a simple sound, it's nothing special um, for the mesh to work. What you see inside the silo, I'll need a, I need to extrude it. So I go into the front view quickly and in my mesh options, use the extrude option, create a little bit of thickness to it. So it's like a centimeter thick. And this is my silo which I can freeze my transformations, clear history, rename it to silo and this is my shape so so next up I will create my boolean operator which is this cube which I will leave it the size and and now I start my boolean operation first you select your object to be bool and then your operator go into the mesh options on the booleans you can uh, tear off the menu and then you have the boolean menu here and if you click different sometimes you have to figure out which one it is it's sometimes different and then you have your boolean operation started now the object my operator is, is hidden it's just a bug I'm not sure why it's hidden but it's still there you can move it if you select it in the outliner and then you get a nice hole in my silo as you can see here now sometimes you see the mesh is a bit distorted you see it down here now in a second see but that's just a shading problem so you just have to when it's when you see the problem just assign the same shader to your mesh um, existing material and Lambert and then the problem is removed so this is what it looks like now and it's working you can scale it see it's pretty nice opening up your silo if I quickly change your viewport 2.0 and enable my gamma then it's a bit more visible what happens see it's a nice opening in my silo and voila <clears throat> so but now I want to create a better operator for this like a, a simple rig or something which is a bit easier to see so to remove my operator I just clear the history 
and I just have my simple side of back, which is just the same object. Just have to rename it quickly again to the silo. And just to add contents to it quickly, um, I just duplicate this quickly. Pull this contents so just to show something that something is inside of the silo. Um, quickly just isolate that. Those caps and fill this here, yeah, fill the hole like this, and then just quickly extrude this to get it a bit more detail. Can even collapse it or merge it. Create a bevel here. It's just a bit of a better visual representation of a silo, so So this should work now. This is just my silo now. And this is my content. And clear the refuse transformation. So now we come to my Boolean operator. I create the cube again, which is my operator. Like this. Call this one initial cube. And to this, I want to add some bevel function. So I'll go to mesh menu and bevel. And then I want to duplicate that with the duplicate special option box, reset my options and duplicate input graph. So I have the same object created, call this one bool cube. I just rename them so I get a better or I can better distinguish between the two. This is the in initial level and the initial cube and this one is the bool bevel and the bool cube okay now the main options are done for my cube so, so to create a nice rig for this now, I will create, uh, select my master object and my boolean operator and hit difference. So if I move my cube, it's cutting into the mesh, which is exactly as it should working. So undo the positioning. So now I set up my rig with the window general and connection editor. So, and in the outliner, I display or check the DAG objects box. And down here, I will find somehow, somewhere my four objects, which I renamed just now. The bulls and the cubes. So, I select the bool bevel, reload left, and the initial bevel, reload right. And then I connect the segments to segments and the offset to the offset. The same goes for the bool and initial cubes operators. So I select the width and the width, the height and the height, the depth and the depth. So now they are nicely connected. And if I change now the settings in my bool cube, the initial cube options should change the same way, though it's not visible, but they should because I connected them together. So the only thing is missing is a pairing 
parent constraint between the two. So I select my master object and my, my slave object, which is the initial cube. Go into the animation menu and under constraint, I have the parent option, reset settings and add. So if I move this cube now, the initial cube, which is hidden after the boolean operation should move the same way. I can also hide this one so I can see how my bool is working. Slide it into my object and you see there's a little hole created which is exactly as it should working. So now to, for, your, for a better understanding I have two cubes on the same position of the same bevel functions and the same cube settings. So if I now move the cube upwards and let's say make it bigger with the bool cube, change my height with the depth, it's getting bigger now and if I turn off the visibility of this one you see there's a nice hole inside my silo which is exactly working as it should. So you can also change the bevel options. As you can see, I have you can see I have sharp corners on the edges of the cube and with the bevel function you can increase the segments which is working perfectly and same with uh, the offset. So you can get a sharp cornered bool or a round one which is working very nice and interactively. So if you want to create an animation for that you just have to animate the bool cube let's say going into this like this or even make it bigger than let's say a bit more of height and depth and even width so it's a nice cut open mesh and whoop it's opening and you can see a nice contents of my silo so if you would go and animate that you would just make it visible so you can you can see exactly how my bool operator looks like. I set a keyframe for this positioning and move forwards until here something like this and hit W or shift W for setting keyframes for translation only and then it's a nice animation how your boolean operator is moving and opening. So now the boolean operation is working pretty nice. You can even add more keyframes. It's just a simple animation so it's nothing too spectacular. You can move it then downwards to here or here, what, wherever you like and it's just working smoothly. So thanks for watching this quick tip. I hope you learned something. It's just an easy way to create openings or cut open meshes for your animations for technical or even product design animations. So thanks for watching guys and check out my other tutorials on my page. Bye!